right-hand side. Do you see those outlets? Do you see that white fence over there, guys? Betsy, Betsy! Oh, the water, the water used to be there. Okay. All the way to that white fence. So all of this was once part of the beautiful Caribbean Sea. La mar llegaba hasta allá donde está ahí. Todo esto era parte de la mar un tiempo. But because of tourism, they decided to actually refill this land, making it an easier way out of the city. Okay? My friends, let me tell you something. There is never a simple question to begin. Look at the house. Do you think people still live in the house? No. no. Well, you are mistaken. They still have people that live in that house. That house has been there for so many years and have lasted even through different hurricanes. Okay? Now, like I was saying, there is never a simple question, guys. Please, I want you to participate. If I do not know the answer for a question, I ask my driver. If my driver does not know, I promise you, I am going to invent something good for you, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Now, we are located in the country of Belize. This is the country of Belize. Who believes that they are in an island today? Okay, don't, don't, it's okay, don't be ashamed. We are not in an island. We are in mainland today. Belize is in mainland. We are bordered to the north by Mexico, to the southwest by Guatemala, and to the east by our beautiful Caribbean Sea. Now, this city is called Belize, just like the country. So it's the country Belize, and the city is also called Belize. The difference is that our spelling is B-E-L-I-C-E. Which, if you would pronounce it, it should say Belize. But we do not call it Belize. We call it Belize, right? I want you to take a look at this yellow building. Princess Ramana Hotel. You guys call it casino, we call it donation center. Okay? It is the largest hotel in the country of Belize. It has a bowling alley, it has a beautiful game room. It has the only movie theater in all the country of Belize. Yeah. Movie theater. We have, so our kids do not know what's going to watch a movie eating popcorn in a theater. No, that does not exist. But guess what? You see those channels that you pay for in the US? Pay per view and so forth? We receive it for free. Don't ask me why and how, I do not know. Okay. To your left hand side, it is the BTL Park. This is where all the celebrations happen, especially on the weekends and especially on the month of September. This is where a lot of artists from abroad, they come and perform. Now, coming up, I want you to take a look at this small aircraft. What does it say? Spirit of St. Louis. Spirit of St. Louis. Does anyone know who flew the spirit of St. Louis? No? Anyone? Have you heard about Charles Lindbergh? Charles Lindbergh was the first person to land an aircraft here in the country of Belize. So, at this moment, I can freely say that you are driving in Belize's first international airport. This stretch is exactly where the first plane landed for the first time in the country of Belize. Coming up, I want you to take a look at that white building. That is the fisheries department. To your right hand side, the white building coming up. They are the ones that regulate what happens in our sea. For example, if you become a fisherman and you start to extract conks, lobsters, and shrimp, you need a permit or a license. Also, it is by temporary seasons that they allow you to take out shrimp, conks, and lobsters. If you get caught not following these laws, you 
could get fined or you could end up in jail. So this is the fishing department man. Now, I'll give you less than a minute for you to take a look around this area. Now the city is divided into two zones. So the north part where we are in right now and the south part of the city. The north part of the city is where the poor richer people live in this area. We have no kings and queens in Belize but to live around this area you need to have the money of a king and a queen. We actually call this area King's Park area. Now, look my friends, a house around this area, even $300,000. It is not basically because the house, but because of the land that they are close to the sea. People that live around here, you guys call them politicians, Belizeans call them politicians. You guys call them authorities, we call them liars. Okay, so politicians, liars, doctors, high businessmen, these are the type of people that can afford to live in this part of the city, which is the north part of the city. 300 to $400,000, you could get a land anywhere around this area. Coming up, you will be able to see a white and blue building. In Belize, we only have two telephone companies. That's it, no more. One, smart. The other one, BTL. That's that building over there. BTL, Belize Telemedia Limited. Guys, look at this, Belize Telemedia Limited. But locally, we call it better try later because that signal sometimes really is not working. To your right hand side, where you see they're doing these sporting events. Have, every, have anyone heard about a person that is called Marion Jones? No? Well, Marion Jones is a female sprinter that won the Olympics in the 2000s in Sydney. Now, she's not a born Belizean, but both her mom and her dad are born Belizeans. So, we consider her one of hers. She donated $4.5 million for sporting event and to construct this stadium that now we call it the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. Guys, today you are located in a third world country. Belize is a third world country. But people like Marion Jones give our kids inspiration to know that not because we come from a third world country, we cannot be with her someday. Because if she can do it, our kids can do it. She runs the same blood as us. Okay? We're about to enter the education area. In Belize, our school is almost as the schools in the USA. Simply saying that we receive the same holiday, Christmas vacation, Easter vacation, summer vacation. Okay guys? The kids are about to go on Easter vacation on Friday. It's their last day of classes. They go for two weeks on holiday. Now, something that we do in Belize. They got three main reasons why Belize children use uniform. Why do you think so, ma'am?
identify them from the different schools that they go. <laughs> Two, if a police officer sees a child in the streets and they should be in class, they know exactly where to take them to. Last but not least, not because your mom has more money than my mom, you will receive a better treatment. No, everybody in the class wears the same type of shoes, the same type of pants, the same type of shirt. Everybody receives the same type of education. It believes, we believe that every child have a right for an education. Okay guys? Now, like I said, this is Belize City. My friends, Belize City, today as I am speaking, has a population a little bit more than a hundred thousand. Just in this city, in the entire country of Belize, how much do you think people live in Belize, sir? Excuse me? Who, who said that? 2.3 million? Oh no, that's too much. Only English speaking 
banking country in our Central America. They have no other country that speaks English other than Belize in Central America. Look, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, El Salvador, Costa Rica. These are the five countries with Belize, six countries that makes up Central America. Out of these six countries, only Belize speaks English. Now, we have entered the Northern Highway. This is the Northern Highway. If we would keep driving approximately about two hours in this highway, we will get to Mexico. That is giving you an example of how close you are to Mexico. Now I have a question. Guys, why do you think that you speak English and believe?
what you think we say? Mother. Huh? Mother. Mother? No. Because when you say mother, something bad comes behind it. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, we will all, always call our mother Ma. And our father, Dad, or Pa. How do you think we call our grandmother though? No, not Nana. Gigi. No. <laughs> Are you busy? <laughs> she got it right. Granny. Yeah, hey, Granny. That is how we call our grandmother, Granny. Hey. Okay. Are you guys doing good at the back? In the middle? Front? Alright. We were in the Northern Highway. Now we are in the Western Highway. Remember I told you if you would drive two hours to get to Mexico, right? Now if you drive three hours away from where we are right now, you get to Guatemalan border. So in one day or less than a day you could drive three countries Mexico, Belize and Guatemala in less than a half day. Lobster to red lobster. 
sir. Yeah. The other one that we have is our bananas. But our bananas is only exported to Europe, England being a specific under but now the money in Belize I will be passing on the money so you can take a look at all our
sugar factory. For those that want to come down, you could follow me this way. They have, also have a small museum. They got restrooms, they got beverages, they got shots as well. For one dollar, you receive two shots. Now, my, the group name is Abner's Group. So when I say Abner's Group, we're leaving, it means we're getting back in the bus, okay guys?
got to Belize, became a doctor, and he was so kind that when he used to go outskirts of the city to tend to people and they didn't have money, what would happen, he would say, I'm okay with a cup of coffee. So they built that hospital on, on to remember all the good deeds he did for the country of Belize, known as Carl Houston Memorial Hospital.
lot of people do their shopping. The people that go and are getting their stuff are uh, Hindu, Indian. Yeah, Indians are the more the people who go. Indians are the ones that go.
start to rotate the wheel for it to spin so the bigger boats can cross through the river, getting them into the Belize Sea. Swing break.
eBay or Amazon.com and then you see one of their stuff inside there, okay? I'm just kidding, guys. So we are just like two minutes away from where we started. I hope that you had a great time. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of more Belizean territory, more Belizean history. And I just want to wish all of you guys to keep enjoying your vacation wherever your other destination is. I want you to keep enjoying your vacation, my friends.